So, you want to create your own line of breakfast sausages, and your name just so happens to be Jimmy Dean. Well, I hate to inform you, but that's already kind of been capitalized on. Hey guys, welcome back to Spike. I'm Kai, and today we're back once again taking a look at how to create an animated tile set or sprite in Godot. Right now, we're in 4.0.1 of Godot, which is nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and go to the 2D view space, the viewport workspace, whatever you wanna call it. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and hit this little 2D scene button. We have a node 2D, um, uh, uh, little little node here. We're gonna, go ahead, we're gonna go ahead and right click that and hit add child node. And we're gonna search for a couple of things. The first thing we're gonna search for is of course a tile map. Let's go ahead and hit create on that. Um, and then uh, we're all set and ready to go. Nice, with this done, I'm going to click that and go over onto the right hand side and open up this little thing that says empty and hit new tile set. Now we have a tile set, but we have nothing uh, to use our tile set in. We don't have an image, we don't have, an, we don't have a picture, we don't have a, nothing. So we need to go ahead and import that now. I'm going to click and drag my sprite, which is four uh, 16 by 16 images together. Um, so we're going to go all in one image is what I mean. So we're going to go ahead and click and drag that over here on the left hand side where it says, uh, you know, file system over here, click and drag that in. I'm going to go ahead and right click this and hit new folder and just, you know, add a tile set folder just for the heck of it. And then drag that sprite into the tile set folder. And now, you know, everything's just nice and neat, you know, you know it's not really super necessary, but you know, just to keep things nice and organized. Um, now because my sprite is 64 in length in 16 up and down because I have four 16 by 16 images, like I just said, side by side on one image. I wanna make sure my cell quadrant is 16. Now, if you're in a 32 pixel art resolution or if you're in another type of resolution, then make sure that resolution fits the size of your tiles. Like I said, I'm using 16 by 16 right now, so we're gonna keep this cell quadrant size on 16. Nice. <clears throat> With that done, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna click and drag um, in the tile set right here. If this is not in tile map, not in shader editor, in tile set, I'm gonna click and drag my water sprite into this little box. And now it's gonna ask me this very, very important question of the day. It says auto create tiles in non-transparent texture regions. We do not wanna do this. So this is big. Essentially what this is asking really quickly is in a tile set, sometimes you'll have transparent like gaps in between the sprites. You know, maybe you have your water tiles in the top left hand corner. Maybe you have your grass textures in the top right hand corner. You know, you have trees in the bottom, rocks in the bottom right and trees in the bottom left. You know, I don't know what you got. You got sand, you know, you got all the different corners, all the little pieces, you know, the edge piece, top right corner, top left corner, bottom left, you know, whatever. It's going to, if you hit yes, it's going to remove all the transparent sections to make it much easier for unanimated textures to be painted in your scene when creating a tile map but for animated textures for textures that you want to be animated that you want to move do not hit yes because this is going to void all animation if you hit yes so you have to hit no if this texture you're working with is going to be animated so make sure you hit no for this animation purpose now let's go ahead and, and scroll this up a little bit and zoom on in now what you're going to do before you click anything don't click anything only click the first texture in your sequence of animation. So I have four frames, so there's four images here um, side by side. So I'm gonna click the first one. Don't click the other ones, only click the first one. <laughs> and once we've done that, we're gonna go ahead and uh, go to the select option up here. You can see we're gonna click this uh, texture once again. This is the first one. Um, and now we have a couple of options here. When we open up animation, you can see we have columns. I'm gonna go ahead and set our columns to four because we have four columns here. One, two, three, four. Boom. Now uh, you have speed separation. Now if your separation, uh, if you want to separate these because they're not butted up right against each other, then go ahead and do that. Um, but because mine are butted up right against each other, I do not need to do that at all. I will leave that on zero. Um, and then my frames, we're gonna go ahead and this is the big thing. So we have four frames here. We have four frames of this water animation. I'm gonna go ahead and hit add element. You can see, boom, it adds the second frame. Now I'm gonna hit it again, adds the third frame and one more boom, adds the fourth frame. Now, this is where you can see if, if they weren't butted up right against each other, I would go ahead and hit this little X um, separation thing right here. Oop. This little X separation, uh, the, hello, there we, the X separation thing, and put on like two or whatever, what have you. Um, but for today, we don't need to do that because they're all butted up right against each other, and there is no space that I can even add because it won't let me do it because that is the end of the image right there. So, Nice. Now, if you wanted some of these frames to last longer, let's say you wanted the third frame to last super long, you would go ahead and put this on 10 seconds, maybe four seconds, you know, but because I want these all to play an even rate, like instead of like 
da, 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 you know what I mean? We want them all to go at the same pace, is exactly is what I'm saying, essentially. So we're keeping them all in one second. You know, we don't want any stuttering, any movement around like that. So we're going to leave it all like that. Um, and once we've done that, we can actually go to the tile map. You see all four of them, they look, they look good. And we can go back to the tile set, hit paint, and you can see if we oh, if we go ahead and oh, select tile map, and then go to this little paint tool here. Um, oh, this little paint tool. And you can see. If we were to go ahead and try to paint something now using this little, uh, clicking this one right here and then painting it in, you can see that when we, uh, take a look at it, it is animated. So it's actually moving right there, which looks nice. Um, now it looks a little, uh, it looks a little blurry because we need to go ahead and go to, uh, I believe this is up in project settings and then in, uh, right here, I do believe in there, something like that. There we go. Oh, there we go. Nice. So that what was that project, project settings, um, rendering textures, and then default texture filter. Change it from linear to nearest if you're using pixel art. And you can see now that is animated. So these, these all loop. They look amazing. Let me know if you want more tutorials for this uh, program. I know a lot of uh, a lot of viewers that I have do use uh, Godot. So we're going to go ahead and maybe potentially do some more in the future if you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I will see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.